Number 5. Elizabethtown is a 2005 romantic comedy drama film directed by Cameron Crowe. The story follows Drew Baylor, played by Orlando Bloom, a designer who faces professional failure when a product he worked on flops. To add to his troubles, he receives news of his father's passing in the small town of Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Drew is tasked with handling the funeral arrangements. During his journey, he meets a flight attendant named Claire, played by Kirsten Dunst, and the two form a romantic connection. The film explores Drew's personal and emotional growth as he navigates family dynamics, love, and career setbacks. Through the ups and downs of this journey, Elizabethtown weaves together elements of romance, comedy, and self-discovery, creating a heartfelt and uplifting cinematic experience. Gonna stay for a while. Uncle Mitch always wanted us to meet. Everybody says we look alike. <laughs> Weird, huh? Like looking in the mirror. This is your blood. Life and death and life right next door to each other. Right here is your grandfather. He had three nipples. He had three nipples. Hello? Hello, stranger. Wait a second. I'll be right back. Hello? You have to come home. She's out of control. You will not defeat me. <laughs> We're gonna make it. I need to call you right back. No problem. Just dial hell and I'll answer. We were actually gonna drive down here together. We were supposed to get to know each other better as adults. Next year. Someone dug a hole six long, feet in the ground. I, I said had this thing for you. you it's a very unique map. Just for your road trip home. Roll down your window. I've had some time to think about And I watch the sun sink like a stone I've had some time This is your life. Let's do something interesting with it. On right Dad, we should have taken this trip years ago. I think you should eat something. Please don't take this as rejection. I really don't. Number 4. Melancholia is a 2011 apocalyptic psychological thriller film directed by Lars von Trier. The story revolves around two sisters, Claire, played by Charlotte Gainsbourg, a wealthy but anxious woman, and Justine, played by Kirsten Dunst, an artist suffering from depression. Their family dynamics are complicated, set against the backdrop of an approaching planet called Melancholia, which threatens to collide with Earth. As Melancholia draws nearer, people's fears and anxieties escalate, while Claire and Justine grapple with their own inner struggles. The film explores themes of emotion, family, and humanity, while also presenting the fear of apocalypse and the transience of life through the symbolic presence of the planet Melancholia. <laughs> You really wanted this, but I do. What star is that? Melancholia is just gonna pass right in front of us, and it's gonna be the most beautiful sight ever. It's gonna be a lot different. What did you expect? I'm afraid of that stupid planet. Dad said there's nothing to do. Then he's forgotten about the magic. I want us to be together when it happens. Number 3. Jumanji is a 1995 fantasy adventure film directed by Joe Johnston, based on the children's picture book of the same name by Chris Van Allsburg. The story follows two young siblings, Judy, played by Kirsten Dunst, and Peter, played by Bradley Pierce, who stumble upon a mysterious board game called Jumanji. 
As they start playing, they unwittingly release a young boy named Alan, played by Robin Williams, who had been trapped inside the game since his youth. The game transports them into a perilous world filled with dangers and adventures, where they must complete the game to rescue Alan and stop the chaos unleashed by the game. In this magical and treacherous world, they encounter various challenges, including wild animals, dense jungles, and perilous traps. The adventure tests their courage, intelligence, and teamwork, while also teaching them valuable lessons about friendship and resilience. Number 2. The Virgin Suicides is a 1999 psychological romantic drama film directed by Sofia Coppola, adapted from Jeffrey Eugenide's novel of the same name. Set in the 1970s in America, the story revolves around the Lisbon sisters, Therese, Mary, Lux, Bonnie, and Cecilia. These sisters live in a conservative household under the strict supervision of their parents. However, when Cecilia commits suicide at a young age, the family falls into a silence and fear. As the story unfolds, viewers get a glimpse into the inner world and family dynamics of these five sisters through the eyes of neighborhood boys. Their exploration of life and love, as well as their desires for freedom and self-identity, are vividly portrayed throughout the narrative. Look, she's laughing. Might those intentions be? So much has been said about the girls over the years. Those girls have a bright future ahead of them. But we have never found an answer. Her act was a cry for help. I heard it was an accident. Even then, as teenagers, we tried to put the pieces together. We still can't. We got a full tank of gas. We'll take you anywhere you want to go. About time. We've been waiting for you guys. Bad life gaps. Obviously, Doctor. You've never been a 13-year-old girl. Four sisters put their own lives in jeopardy. They'll all be gone by next year. We would never be sure about the sequence of events. We argue about it still. Number 1. Spider-Man is a 2002 American superhero film directed by Sam Raimi, based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. The movie follows the story of Peter Parker, played by Tobey Maguire, a high school student who gains superhuman abilities after being bitten by a radioactive spider. Peter discovers that he possesses spider-like strength, speed, and agility, along with the ability to shoot webs from his wrists. He decides to use these powers to protect the residents of New York City and combat crime and evil. However, on his superhero journey, Peter faces various challenges, including romantic entanglements with his love interest Mary Jane Watson, played by Kirsten Dunst, and his ultimate nemesis, the Green Goblin, played by Willem Dafoe. I know I went through exactly the same thing at your age. No, not exactly. Wow! Peter, may I introduce my father, Norman Osborn? Great honor to meet you, sir. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. What the hell is 
that? Whatever it is, somebody has to stop it. With great power comes great responsibility. This is my gift. Wow. It is my curse. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Do I get to say thank you this time? <laughs>